So, um, yeah, first speed pain, first video hearing my voice. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just talk about what I did. You can see me. Uh, the picture in the background is a sketch I did in my sketchbook, and after that, that turned out alright, and I didn't want to ruin it in my sketchbook because that's what happens if you overwork stuff. Um, yeah, I decided to do, do it digitally because then I can keep the thing in my sketchbook. And uh, yeah, do adjustments as I see fit, and I did them. Made the head a bit bigger, and uh, yeah, just went over it. And you just can edit everything in, in the digital world, so that was oh, that was pleasant. Uh, you can see me do the line work, and that was by far the most work. That and shading, which we'll do in a second. Um, believe it or not, never drew muscular. Ferret? Weasel? Have we ever decided what Sprinkle is? I think a ferret? Um, I'm not sure, but he's buff, at least in my world. Uh, after the last episode, I think 106, where he was, spoiler alert, cooked alive like everyone else and somehow survived because he's Sprinkle the Destroyer of Worlds, as have called him lovingly. Um, yeah, you can see me shading here, Sprinkle the Destroyer. Um, trademark. Um, shading him. This is all in the style of uh, the game Darkest Dungeon. If you haven't noticed yet, which probably you have not because the shadows are blue and everything looks quite nice. This will change really quickly. But for anyone who doesn't know, Darkest Dungeon is like really gritty, really hard dungeon delving game where you basically just walk your way through loss and sorrow with all your favorite heroes that then certainly die at some point and then you rage quit and never played again for half a year. So that's the basic experience, I figure at least. Um, yeah, still shading, still shading, because the art style of Dark Assumption has a lot of solid black shadows and, and I know, I know, it's blue. This will change, I just uh, picked it up somewhere that, I don't know, just doing the line art and the shading, different color. Eventually change it to black, which happens right now. Perfect timing, that was planned. As usual, which is not usual because I've not, never done such a video before, but as usual, it will become usual. Trust me. Um, here, just adding color, which straight away just makes it awesome. Not to pat myself on the shoulder, but I'm gonna pat myself on the shoulder because this is awesome. Uh, no, but I'm really proud how this one turned out. Uh, as you can see, a green cloak because, of course, he's a follower of the traveler. Um, if you've seen it yet, he's got a Task 2 logo, Captain Task 2 logo. Um, I don't know which color it usually is, I did it in pink because to contrast all the blackness and the gritty colors and all the texture that I'm adding here. Um, yeah, why not a pink amulet of happiness and Task 2 finesse? Um, here, adding texture just to make, to make it look less flat. I think it works great. And that's of course also part of the art style. You can see if you zoom in, it's got all sort of soot and dirt on um, all the armor. Um, here I'm adding some ring lighting, which after that I noticed no proper uh, a source for it. So that's why I'm adding a giant skull, because that's what you do. You don't have a light, a light source, add a giant skull with many teeth and horns and yeah, that's completely wrong. Here I used a completely wrong brush to uh, do the line art, so I had to do it twice because uh, why not, it didn't take long enough. Uh, shade it all, forgot the opacity here, now it's solid black. And yeah, give the dead skull of death um, glowing red eyes because that's awesome and let's sprinkle the destroyer. I said it again. Be the most awesomest and yeah, a few finishing touches, some heavy metal uh, stuff in the background. Yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, this is Sprinkle the Destroyer. My first beat draw, my first time recording my voice for anything, so if you hated it and are not listening anymore and just speaking to myself, lovely, um, I like my voice. And for those who are still there, I hope you like it too. And if you do so, I don't know, let me know. Because I had fun doing this project and I would do another one. I have 
ideas lined up um, totally and I'm not lying at the moment yeah but if you liked it let me know if you didn't let me know if I don't know you liked your food you ate while watching this let me know I like food um, and on that note I think I'm just gonna end this or I'm gonna babble on forever so bye <laughs>